If you ride your fuel injected motorcycle deep off road, check out this video. We're going to show you how to troubleshoot and change out your fuel pump. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today we're gonna to be working on this Honda CRF 450 RL. I believe it's like a 2021, 2022, pretty new bike. Uh, buddy of mine was riding this thing off-road um, up north of here, up north of Santa Barbara actually. And he messaged me on his uh, spot or um, I forget what the other, inReach, whatever one he has, and said that his bike just quit, wasn't running. We did a little bit of troubleshooting and I'm pretty sure that the fuel pump went out on him. But I don't know. So let's take a quick look at it and um, I'll show you some signs that you can tell if your fuel pump is working or not. Yeah, he said he was riding the bike about 45 miles an hour. It just stopped, it was cranking over, um, but it wouldn't start at all. And um, another friend of mine picked him up, brought the bike down here and he forgot the key, so he even mailed me the key. So I'll open this up, we'll put the key in and we'll uh, check it out. So on most fuel injected bikes, when you turn the key on, you can hear the pu uh, pump cycle. Um, you may not even notice it uh, if you haven't been paying attention, but when you turn the key on, you can hear it. It'll usually make a, like a whirring noise. And if you stick your ear right against the tank, you definitely should be able to hear it. But let's just turn the key on and see. Of course, it won't cycle if the um, ignition is off. So we'll turn that on. And we'll get close down here. Now I don't hear a single thing at all. Nothing. Down here. Can you hear that? There's a click as I turn the key on and off. That's the fuel pump relay. So our relay is getting power, fuel pump isn't. The next thing I will do to troubleshoot that the fuel pump is bad is I will uh, remove the air box cover and we'll spray a little bit of starting fluid, carburetor cleaner, brake clean, whatever in there. If this thing fires for just a second and dies, then that about 99% verifies that our fuel pump has gone bad. And I have no idea where the air box even is on this thing, so never worked on one of these, but tank's gotta come off anyway, so I'm gonna pull the seat off and get ready to pull the tank off and uh, we'll figure it out together. Seat comes off with two bolts, one on each side here. This one has a rack, obviously, but uh, same, same. And then the air filter is right underneath here on this model. Two bolts, and then there's a little clip right here. And then here's the air filter. Comes out with just that uh, thumb screw right there. Pull it out of there. And in here, you can see inside to the throttle body. You probably can't quite see it in there, but uh, I'm going to set you up here. Watch what I'm doing. Hopefully. There you go. What we're going to do is we're going to spray a little bit of uh, carb clean in there. I'll crack the throttle open so it gets in there. It's kind of hard to spray it in here, but it should be enough to make it make a noise. And there you go. So we know there's nothing wrong with the bike as far as like the engine runs. We're just not getting fuel. So now we'll look at how to remove this fuel tank. So this is obviously an aftermarket tank on this bike. Um, but uh, there is a bolt you remove up here. This one has a mount right here for these radiator guards, which may or may not be on the stock tank. I don't know. And then there's some mount bolts under here but uh i'm gonna look this up because these seem kind of odd to me number one they're very difficult to get to because you ain't got much room in there but uh when i took the one out on the other side i think this is all the all the stock stuff for the stock tank so it's stacked up really tall but it's really just this uh bracket so i think i could probably replace it with just one bolt with a washer so I'm gonna look that up and then if I can do that, I will help my buddy out with that because, um, you know, he didn't really maybe know or want to do the troubleshooting. I don't know, maybe he does know the troubleshooting, but he didn't really feel like doing it. Um, 
But if you can remove this tank, you may be able to save yourself out in the middle of nowhere. So that's kind of what I'm going to show you in this video. But uh, when you got something like that, that leaves you with very little room to work. You can see it's very tight in there. I'm trying to take this off in the field with a small toolkit is going to be a pain. Well, I can't speak for the stock tank or stock componentry, but the uh, ECU which is probably in the stock location. I don't know, but it barely fits to get the tank up and out of there. So it's a really tight squeeze lifting this tank up over that. Um, yeah, kind of a pain in the butt to work on this bike. And you want to lift the tank up just a little bit, but not all the way out because you got to take off the electrical connector there and then the fuel line and i don't know where i'm going to pull that off either right off of the uh injector rail or injector or whatever here or on the pump but i'll get this off first and then we'll look at that uh, line and i'll let you know so once again dealing with the aftermarket tank it's big bulky more gallons so it was kind of difficult but uh see this thing you just kind of pull that green piece out of there and then this will slide right out i've worked on other types where you have a deal that you have to push in but that's how the honda works obviously we had to take it off of the tank here because to take it off here we would have had to um, remove that bolt and all that so here's our electrical connector um, i'll probably do a little bit of uh, research and i can find out which pins are supposed to get energized when this turns on but it may just be easier for me to uh, pull this fuel pump out and just shoot directly into the pump so I'm gonna drain the tank which I probably should have done before I did all this and then uh, we'll pull that fuel pump out before I drain the tank here I'm gonna show you something um, so let's say that this happened to you and you wanted to try to at least troubleshoot it out in the middle of nowhere before you walked 10 20 miles out to get uh, cell phone reception or to get a ride. Um, if your tank is full or mostly full, as you can see, I leave the tank over. This thing is pretty full. Um, this tank will leak out of here, but you could put you could put a hose in there and then uh, jam a stick into it or something. You know, you have the overflow hose, or if you have one of them uh, little short ones, you could just uh, jam a stick into the end of that hose. And then you can tip this thing up enough to get this fuel pump out. So if you get to this point, I mean, I'd, I'd be doing this before I would walk 20 miles myself. But uh, we can almost, at this point, pull the fuel pump out without losing any fuel. Or, I mean, if it wasn't too hot, you could drain your camel back out and fill it with gas. You could look around for an empty um bottle or can or something or if you have another buddy there you could dump some fuel into their tank and you know transfer it back later but uh just that's what i would do if i was in the middle of nowhere anyway we're going to drain the tank then we're going to take all these out and then we'll get into the fuel pump sometimes one of the best things about making a video like this is that i can go back and look at it and make sure i put stuff back together right so there you go. If you're working on stuff at your house, take some pictures while you work as you take things apart. Then you won't forget how it goes back together then as well. You don't have to try to watch videos of people doing it. So, there we go. All that's off. Now, pump should on out there we go so I'll take this over to the bench and we'll take a peek at it well I'm about 99.9% .9 certain what is wrong with this thing already it took me about a second this connection here broke So, if that's all that's wrong with it, we may be able to just uh, crimp a new connector on there and be back in business. So I think what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to kind of jam this in here and hold it in there. And then we'll hook this up and turn the key on and hear if we uh, see if we hear the pump cycle. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that in there, but I just kind of jammed that uh, broken piece in so it's touching. And I'll put you right next to this and we'll turn the key on. You hear that? There you go. That is all that was wrong with it. So now we have to carefully uh, try to take this apart. And we've got a couple of these little plastic snappy deals here. So I think I'll just go around and try to carefully push those in. I have a screwdriver here as well. And then hopefully this body will come off and I'll have access to the top of the pump. So I'm gonna work that. It's really hard to do it with one hand and holding the camera. So we'll see how that looks and I'll be right back. So if you can do this, you definitely have to remove these wires before you go any farther. Of course, there's the green one. Um, write down the order that they're in. Green, yellow, black, white. Green, yellow, black, white. And once you have these uh, pushed in, you just wiggle this a little bit and it comes apart. And then here's our fuel pump right here. So hopefully I'll be able to feed that thing out of there and we'll be able to look at that uh, connector and see if I have one or if I have to order one. Well, I definitely don't have a 90 degree connector like that. So I might have to do a little bit of research to see what I can find. Um, it's also a little bit smaller than your standard, uh, whatever you call these kind of spade connectors or whatever you call those. Um, so I'll do a little bit of research. I guarantee about 99.9% .9 guarantee that Honda does not sell this separately. Almost every manufacturer, you have to buy this entire fuel pump assembly as a unit. Even though most of the time, just this item here is what goes wrong. They'll make you buy all of this. So, this is what I was talking about at the beginning. Um, I would suggest that you learn how to do this. At least watch a video and have an idea. Because if you break down a thousand miles away from home... You can overnight one of these from Amazon for about $30. You could sit in a hotel room, go to the AutoZone, buy a small assortment of tools and take this apart, fix your bike and ride home, or you could pay, you know, $1,000 to get it towed home or something like that. So just uh, have an idea how all this stuff works. It could save you. But anyway... I'm gonna do a little research and see what we can find out. I went to the uh, electronic supply store, the best one I know of in town, and I couldn't find any 90 degree fittings like that. But I did find these, and I just uh, smashed it right over the broken piece here, put it in the vise and smashed it on there really good. And I bent it a little bit. So we'll put it on there and we'll see how that looks. I think this is gonna work okay. I got it all back together. Um, as you can see, this one's up there a little bit. See how the one on the left, the 90 degree fitting, comes straight out. This one, I bent it a little bit, but the uh, housing is holding it in, so that's kind of nice. So I'm gonna refit all these and then we'll plug it in and test it before we put it back in the pump. I objected it before I installed it back into the tank, but I got her back on here. And uh, one thing you want to make sure of is that this piece here only fits one way. It's got a little cutout right there, so it's kind of hard to mess it up. But, you know, I've been able to mess stuff up that's pretty hard to mess up before. Uh, we're going to hook this back up, put a splash of fuel in it, and then we'll object the bike and we'll cross our fingers. I think we should be good. Tank is installed. I got some fuel in there. You can hear the pump priming up. And the 
bike runs. You hear that fuel pump. Every time you turn the key off and on or the ignition off and on, you should hear that. So if you're not hearing that fuel pump, you definitely have some sort of fuel related issue. Check the relay, of course, and uh, voltage, but nine times out of 10, those are gonna be fine. It's probably gonna be your pump. This time, it just happened to be a wire. Well, we got real lucky this time. We didn't have to replace anything major, just a connector. But uh, hopefully I gave you an idea about how to access the fuel pump, how to work on it if you have to. And, um, you know, if you're going to be going on like a super long trip or something with one of these, maybe not a bad idea to carry a spare fuel pump with you. That would be kind of a pain in the butt to change in the middle of nowhere, but better than walking. That's what I always say. But uh, I'm glad I was able to fix it. We're up and running bike is good to go all right if you're enjoying my content give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you're not already a subscriber please consider doing so thank you very much for watching get out there and find your adventure adios